Be nice. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Simba. There's so much fur on the bed right now. Good morning, Simba. So one of my new morning things is that when the cats jump on the bed, like as I'm getting ready for my day, like right now I'm getting ready for my day. Simba just jumped on the bed and this is a really good time to brush him. It's a whole lot easier to brush a cat that's laying on the bed than you know, a cat that's on the floor. Okay, Simba. Okay. And then when I'm done, I am going to vacuum off this bedspread because that Dyson does such a great job of just vacuuming up all of the cat hair. I just washed it um, a few days ago, so I'm a little bit too lazy to put it in the wash right now again. Plus, I'd be washing it like every single day. So I Dyson it, and it does a really good job of getting the fur off. The Dyson does a much better job of getting the fur off than using um, lint rollers. I do have lint rollers, but I tend to use them more for like clothing and um, some pieces of like furniture and stuff that in places where the Dyson might not work as well. Hello, Simba. You look so handsome. Are you going to bite the brush? Okay, you bite the brush. He's purring. Okay. How much fur? Look at all the fur, Simba. Oh, you want me to? Okay. See what he did? Do you see how he just told me he wants me to brush his head like that? Did you see that? Cats are very smart. He said, brush my head. That's why he was grabbing the brush, because he was trying to trying to tell me, no, don't brush me there. Brush me where I want to be brushed. Okay, yeah, you look pretty, Simba. You look very handsome. You look so handsome, Simba. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. You're done for today. You're done for today, Simba. You could lay on the bed. You can tell Simba's Boo's son because he loves the brush the same way that Boo loves it. Okay. Look at all of that fur. It's about 9 a.m. Boo is getting his brushing. Hello, Boo. Who loves to be brushed, right? Okay, roll over on your tummy, Boo. Roll over on your tummy. On your tummy. Boo doesn't understand that yet. Oh, he's stretching. <laughs> Come here. Okay, Boo. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Good boy. He understands lay down. Good boy, Boo. Okay, tummy. The thing with Boo is that he naturally has a lot of energy, so he doesn't like to sit still too much. Mm -hmm. He's purring. 
Boo, you look so handsome. So handsome. Handsome boy. I just walked past the living room and saw this. Stella and Splash laying in the royal bed together. Simba, Simba, you want a sardine? Come on, why is the Easter Bunny doing that? Be nice. Simba's the Easter Bunny today. Hello, Easter Bunny. Right here. Simba, you're so cute. Yeah. Here, Boo, put the hat on. Put your ears on. These are bunny ears. Put the bunny ears on. Just put them, they're not a toy. The cats love these scratch and rolls. Um, they each have their own scratch and roll. And they use these on a daily basis. I don't think one day goes by that the cats don't sit on their scratch and rolls at some point during the day. And these are the original scratch and rolls and they're made with this material that looks like grass. A few weeks ago, I was in Ikea and I saw this and this is the exact same type of grass that is used on the scratch and rolls. And what these are, are like floor tiles. So these are like tiles that you would put down on a patio or something and it gives you like a fake grass effect. I know some people also use these in balconies and stuff like that. So I have not opened this yet. What I want to do is open this up, assemble this, put this together for the cats and let's see if they like it. This is what the pieces look like. You can see that the grass is all pressed down from where it was under the cardboard. But once this is all fluffed up, it'll all look similar to these two spots right here. And uh, there's a whole stack of these. There's nine of them. So that'll make a three by three square. So on the edges, they have this framework and I believe they all click together with this framework. So that's what that looks like. And then this is what the bottom looks like. So I am going to attach these and we'll see if the cats like it. I'm still setting it up and Simba has to come and check it out already. Simba, what you doing? Simba's claiming it. Simba says, this is my grass. Nobody else can have this grass. It's only my grass. 
So this is what the grass looks like so far. At first I had like all um, nine in like a square in the corner, but I think like a longer strip might be better for the cats. I'm wondering if I need to go back and buy another set of these grass tiles. I mean, we'll see if the other cats like it. So far, Simba seems to like it. As you can see, it's pretty much a perfect match for the scratch and rolls. The one bad thing about these grass tiles is I feel like they don't attach together very strongly. Maybe over time, if people are walking on them, uh, they will attach together better. But it's really, they don't really click in together. It's almost, it's just like they loosely attach, if that makes any sense. Look at that, they're like the same, they're like the same width as a scratch and roll. Here's the bunny. Simba. Simba. You want crutches? So this is how the grass tiles are set up right now. And I'm just going to leave them here for a little while and see if the cats like them. When I say a little while, I mean for a few days. And I put the tablet on the grass and Stella just came over to watch the cat charmer video. Boo's smelling around because he wants crunchies. Boo did not get any crunchies. Simba got some crunchies because Simba has been a really cooperative actor today and Boo has not so Simba also got a sardine treat yeah so these are the grass tiles at Ikea I think one box of tiles was around $35 um, it was definitely around $30 I think it was a little bit more than $30 I don't remember exactly how much uh, it was but um, yeah we'll see if the cats like it so an experiment an experiment that was a total fail was putting these cat beds on top of this shelf uh, near the other windows. The only cat I ever saw sleeping in these was Simba and I watched him actually fall off because four beds do not fit on top of this shelf. So he actually kind of slid off. He did not get hurt or anything, but no one has been laying in any of these. So I'm taking these down and they'll go back to laying on the ledge because they enjoy that. Thank you for watching this Lucky Ferals video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.